Hello there gentlemen, this is Moff from the Chaos Delivery and today we present you some of the roofs in the medium French village map. We are here around Beta 4 area and this is the area which changed a lot with the new build Zolander. So we have here a lot more roofs which we can access which is totally awesome and you can decide between facing the little area behind you or the area outside the town. You have a nice view to better free a little bit to Charlie free if you want to snipe over there. Then you can basically from this roof you can cover this nice little alley here if someone tries to flank out to Charlie 4 or from Charlie 4. So this is one of the things you can do. You always can try to cover the church or be scared of enemies at the church. Here again a little bit you can snipe into the small alleys which they added which is a lot of fun. From here you just can do the same or get to the next roof. Which basically is what, what we do. You can enter these roofs also from this house. This is a nice sniper position if you are in the attic or on the roof. You can cover the O1 plaza as well as we the <laughs> as well as the graveyard to the right. Pretty good, which is awesome. If you ever need to get down really quickly, you can jump through the holes in the garage here. Then from up here you can basically snipe a little bit to the church and again to a one. And here I would actually take cover a little bit between these things here, as this means you are a less less big big target. As well you can shoot down to the place be behind you where there's normally not that projection. From here it's basically my, uh, the same and this here and I think on the roof I'm standing currently you can also get into and jump out of it and you can get on this roof this is the old sniper house where it's zoom in it's still there you can jump on there you can jump on the roof and on these two houses you also can get onto which is a little bit of a shame because it would be totally awesome but anyway I think they made a nice little change to the area here yeah, as I said, you can get down here if you manage it to do it. Yeah, and I'm here at the next roof. We are here at Charlie 4. I'm standing on the house, which is the cap zone of Charlie 4. We have a nice view to Beta 3. We have a nice view to Charlie 3. And this row of houses just allows you to flank a little bit to the right to have more insight to the right. So you can like go there and then also snipe behind the area of Charlie 3. You can actually, I'm not sure if I zoom on it, but you saw the little island, island on the right. You can cover this. People tend to, to, to flank over this island. This is the beloved sniper position when they are attacking. So here you can flank them out. Taking away all the cover they thought they have. Yeah, so this is some awesome roof here. <laughs> I hope you can see. Yes, you can. So Delta 4, perfect view. You can see a little bit of the street leading to Delta Delta 3. Again, the island. You have a nice view to Charlie 3. And yeah, that's basically much it. I normally try to, to lay down here to have a little bit of the leaves of the tree as camouflage. As you can see there's a tank crossing over the bridge, which I was aware of. And you can see a little bit to Charlie 3. You can do better from this roof, apparently. And also to like the alley underneath you and... Uh, excuse me, and from this roof here, you can again cover this island and the sniper position here and then I got distracted by the little tank here which is trying to get me down 
basically I was spotting it and a friend then a friendly tank then shot it down but always I, I, I tried to I tried to snipe him out but I was a little bit too nervous <laughs> and just hit his shoulder but I made him get into his machine gun and I was like hiding from him as you can see this is like a lot the zoom on this rifle is probably a little bit too much for this close engagement so when you are up here as I am always saying every firearm up here is more effective than on the ground as the enemies don't expect you to be up there you can do here with every weapon factory standard modded whatever really well but your weapon decides if you're more concentrating on what happens in the city or if you're concentrating on keeping the enemies outside of the city so I'm here on a building that is not on my map because I have a little bit of an older map so it's not included on my map again the church watch out for a church there's often people on it and they try to kill you from there you can see again into the small little pathways leading from a 1 to Charlie 4 you can also from this roof here you can if you have a fast rate of fire weapon lay the lad down on incoming reinforcements if your team is capturing the police station uh, this is one of my favorite roofs because this building to the left is giving you a lot of cover from the church but you don't see that much and this is why I like the position I'm going to show you now because if you go prone why well, go prone you can snipe towards Charlie Free and you're pretty much covered from the church you have the whole bridge you see clearly on the bridge this is an advantage because you have nothing in inside of your view against the bridge and the roof itself as well as these two chimneys cover you from the church so here I am on a new roof around Charlie 4 I didn't show that you also can snipe towards better free from here but you can snipe perfectly to Charlie free if you're going to snipe on long range distance then don't do as I and <laughs> do it while crouching you better go prone as this reduces the sway way more I did it then too late because I was like ah, I want to shoot him yeah if you're asking why there is not that much sway on my rifle this is because I'm not using one hit kill modifiers which makes it a little bit easier to snipe still if you go prone you see there's close to no sway the guy down in the jeep in the cubal wagon didn't see me because he didn't expect me to be here this is an easy to get on roof though but you can cover a lot from it which is awesome so yeah these roofs they also changed we are a little bit behind the position from before again charlie free there's now a tree which is which is in my view to better free which is a little bit sad you can cover a little bit of the broken bridge but this is really small part and i think only useful if you have a one hit kill rifle but you can cover the tree line behind there where enemy snipers tend to be normally if they are assaulting yeah from here you can then not do a lot you can a little bit shoot to charlie 4 but i would go on the next roof i then went a little bit more to police you can see you have a little bit of view into the the area around the police station this is a nice roof if you have a weaponry that is good enough to snipe down reinforcements i was instantly going brown this time and as you can see it's an easy shot on a standing target yeah from up here you have nice view over the plaza but you are not covered from the church anymore previously in walker if you were up here it was really awesome to be up here because you were basically covered from from the church yeah this roof here allows you to snipe on this street here leading again towards a two from charlie four so when then when there is action here this roof is pretty much nice bet to be on whenever you jump on rooftops the higher you are 
the more likely you will hit the roof you're jumping on. If you try to jump on something that is on the same height as you, then be careful. Press crouch nearly before you hit the, the, the next roof if you're mm, close to the edge of the roof. So you won't slip off that easily. Uh, this time I went a little bit lower as the falling distance is quite high. As you can see, but going down here allowed me to not take too much damage. Well, yeah, we have a nice view to Charlie 4 from this building. As I said, if I would go sniping Charlie 4, I would do from here. I was looking for a tank that did shoot my tank down there. And then I left the roof. And I met a fellow teammate, which was surprised that someone is jumping down from up there. Yeah, so here we are at the police. Awesome roof here. And if you go prone here, you have nice cover from the tree. And... You can snipe towards Delta 3. The distance to Delta 3 from this position is 350 meters, so sniping won't be that easy. Then you have this small little garage here, again you can jump down if it is needed. This garage is, due to this building here, pretty much safe from the church. You can go and snipe a little bit onto Echo 4, but it's not a lot. And you have a little bit inside to this wall where normally players tend to sit and snipe. Yeah, then you can get up here and here you should be careful because you will fall off the edge very quickly. If someone is, camp is staying there and tries to shoot your teammates in the police station, then you can shoot him down from through this window. And as I said, really be careful, we nearly slipped off here all the time. And... Once you are around the corner, run and jump now, because there's a gap between the roof and this roof. From here you have basically a little bit of view towards the forest. More important is actually this street underneath you, especially if you are taking a one, because then you can open the fire here and you have a view to the plaza here. If, some, if you are defending and someone is coming in, you can nail them down there. Now I'm going to one of the most open positions. This means you can shoot from there and get shot even easier. Yeah, if you want to ever counter snipers in the church towers, this is an awesome position. They won't look there until you open fire on them or if they luckily find you. So this is a position where you easily get shot down. But it's an awesome position, nobody expects you to be hit there. Until now, because now everybody knows that is watching these videos. You can get up here. I have a little bit of a clue how you get up there. But I'm not perfectly with the timing. I did try it. You need a lot of timing to get up here and hit the small little thing there. As you see, I did a second jump, but I failed at that. <laughs> Sadly. Yeah. So here we are at my little training area. If you need to, like, test out a little bit the... Um, yeah, the jumping. But you also have some nice positions there. All the time you can snipe to the church. And get sniped from the church. That's all the time going to happen. You don't even need to wonder if it's happen, if it's going to happen. So, as I said, you can either way decide on facing outside or inside. From here you can snipe towards Delta 3 again. Have a nice tree and the roof as cover, but... Again, you are exposed to the church. From here, you can cover the bridge and a little bit of Delta 4, the whole coast there, and slightly a little bit of this island, which you can do better from this roof, which I'm going to show you quickly. Then you can get up here. Echo 4 now, this is like one of the best rules to cover Echo 4. You can cover the river crossing and the forest there. They added a few more trees, but this doesn't hinder you. You have a nice view to Delta 3 and to the Delta 4 tower, which is awesome. Yeah, and then you have this roof too, which is like a long jump. And then I think I pressed crouch in the end and was like landing slightly on the edge. Yeah, so here we are. This is another line. Here you actually can take cover from the church, 
if you're trying to snipe things outside but you will still see your silo head on the ground again delta 4 delta 3 cover the whole bridge from the building in front of us so this small building where I'm getting quickly you have also more view to the left and right so to the small island and to the right yeah so also you could cover everything behind delta 3 the fields the farmlands if there's an enemy tank you can spot it there mark it out for your own tanks so you know where to fire if you want to get on most of these roofs of these roofs you'll need to be able to crouch jump through a window which is easy once you did it as i said move here to the left to the small island here we are here at one of the most beloved buildings to defend the d-line so if some if you're assaulting over the d-line then check this window because not this window this building because in the windows and on the roofs there are normally 10 play players to be well that's it so far we hope you could take something out of that sorry for the microphone it's a new one and we didn't configure it because we don't have time we just took the time to do the video because he said we want we want to do this with Xylander. we probably do a few more of these videos showing awesome stuff on maps but the upcoming ones most likely will be shorter than this one because we really won't have that much time in the next months but yeah we hope you enjoyed this really and yeah thanks for watching bye